Nice good wham, good protein. What more do you want? <laughs> Not that one. That's good for bait. Or you could eat it. Like that girl off the line did, she said it tastes like bacon. Oh, actually, yeah. That could be good. So, <laughs> product no from good. Bunnings, maybe not the best, but uh, <laughs> a bit of force <laughs> went behind this, yeah? <sighs> ah well. So the owls reinforce. <laughs> Solution to that is, keep digging. <laughs> oh dear. No, what happened? The shovel is gone. Well, here we go. Okay. Well, I thought that was part of the stone. Yeah, it is. It is, but it's getting crumbled. longer
part goes along there. So if you're ever in a survival situation, make sure you have a look what's up here because if the water comes here storming, you might want to make sure you've got a, a flow going on. Bit of a funnel. That's it. So if you build that here straight, it's still not going to be going good. So you start from a long branch to a short branch, get a little bit of an angle, and you're up and running. Bob's your sister. Look at these blisters. I know. You're mine. No. <laughs> oh, man. Look at them. There. 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 That's all open here. There. But I guess what? Can't complain. I can still walk. I can still see. I can still smell. I can still see you guys, even though I can't. But life is good, you know? Little mm -hmm. things like that doesn't hurt me. So let's rock and roll. Let's go. Away the pain of getting out of that nice warm bed, nice warm bed. What's happening? How many? Two deer. Stay behind. Looks like it's in velvet. You know that the bastard here.
Why'd you drop her? since yeah 5 30 6 a.m it's now nearly 11 o'clock so we'll have a quick little lunch break how's the austrian hat pretty good hey the austrian <laughs> we'll see what's over the hill go over this hill and then next hill and then we'll turn in Yeah, there's a gully, so we'll drop down. Eventually, he's going to come out. Eventually, it's going to come out. What a good I morning, though. Wood. We shoot a hunt or a cow. That's a nice steak. Because we can't live off apples. <sighs> yeah. Looks like something... Something has been bedding in here. Not sure what. It's been, um... A bit of, bit of um, canine poo around, so could possibly be wild dogs. There's, there's no deer hair in the bed at all, so rules that one out. And it's got quite a small depression where it's been laying, but pretty cool. Right here underneath this protected rock canopy from the rain. All day long, no. uh, The wind has been ruining us all day long. This way, that way, we just couldn't get a read on it. And, um, yeah, well. I'm over it. I'm over it. I don't know what to say today, guys. I'm not really happy today, I'll tell you well, that much. I know what to say. We try their hardest. That's how it goes sometimes. We saw, you know, some hinds and some calves and we had a good time doing it. Unfortunately, a shot didn't present itself so we could get some meat at the end of the day. That's how it goes.
Stalking. Today, we're changing our mind. If there is no big boy, that's fine, but we need some meat. So, any deer is a deer today, but then as soon as you think that way, there is no deer no more. Yesterday, deer everywhere, right? Hey, watch, watch. This one is going to come out, there's no doubts. No doubts about it. Let's get down there. Things are super fresh, super, super fresh. They've got a bit of a, a mucus coating um, film on the pellets, so they kind of have like a wet appearance. Those ones were a bit dried out, so still looked fresh, but not, not like just this morning fresh. So anyway, this is what it's all about. God, so amazing. Oh, it's just the most beautiful country around here. This makes getting up at 5 a.m. totally worth it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Looks like these have been browsed along. You can see here a bit of browsing going on. Same here, they're all chewed back.
we've just followed up her tracks. Tough animals they are. Tough animals. She's ran all the way through here, followed this game trail. Massive big marks everywhere. So, I mean, we're gonna lose light before we find her, I think. But, you can see this game trail goes along here. Ah, oh dear. Right. We have been looking for the deer for about half an hour. Can't find it. Found its tracks. Look like we uh, we bumped it. Possibly not entirely sure. And heard something bounding off. So we've kept looking and we'll keep searching because we checked the footage back and it was definitely, um, you know, a good shoulder shot. So she'll be down somewhere, but it's just a matter of, you know, finding her and and uh, not giving up until we find her. And all the way, all the way down into the gully. Because if she did, then she's going to be deep in the bush. It's going to be maybe a night drag out. Not late at night, but you know. Oh, it's pitch black dark now and we're still looking for deer. Looking for the deer we shot, so anybody else would call us crazy. I call us determined. Whoa. Whoa, that's a straight drop into the creek there. How did you get down? Huh? How did you get down? Oh, this is deep. Oh, nice. This is up, yeah. Right there. <sighs> but then the thing is that that's the gully. That's the gully right here. Oh. She should be right here somewhere. She shouldn't be far. She shouldn't be far. <laughs> Dogwood. Oh. My favourite friend. Oh. Oh, guess what? Guess what? <gasps> Oh Look my goodness, finally! Look at this down there. Look at this. Can you see this? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Good job! Yeah. Oh. How long did we look for that freaking thing? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> A long time. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Oh well, we're gonna have to. I don't know. What are we gonna do? Drag her up all the way. I reckon we're going to go through the gully first, all the way drag through the Drag her up. What do you reckon, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Marcus should drag her up, I reckon. And I'll I'll do all the filming from back here. And I'll be the mule. I'll be the camel. Carry all the gear out. What do you reckon? You can do a cook-up tomorrow, you bastard. Well, that's right. <laughs> I'll do all the cooking tomorrow. And the filming tonight. And he does all the dragging today. I'm going to sleep. Hey, you know what? I, tomorrow oh. night. All right. I'm gonna sleep in the hut and then you can do all the cooking if that's all right. <gasps> I'm just gonna relax. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That Good size, yeah. Is so much better because you've got way more grip. <laughs> and it's so much easier. <laughs> so if you guys want to drag deer, if you shoot a deer, you need to get a big dragger. Grip and bang. We call these the deer draggers. Not a problem. Deer dragger. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay. Let's reveal it here. Lots of people always say, how do you drag this deer? How do you drag this deer? I want to let you guys know that there is a technique behind it. If you don't know the technique, <laughs> there's no chance you can move this to here. It's too hard. So what do you do is, so you go like this, back, first, back, like this, back, and drag. Oof. Yeah. And then... It's like you're at the gym. Back and drag. Yeah, so you're using your shoulders and your back. I mean, not really your back, but... Go back and drag. Now with the big boys, with the big stags, it's a little bit of a different story. <laughs> you have to go back, drag, in between drag you say, F this sh <laughs> and then drag again, right? You stub your toe, you smack your shins. Oh, there's no doubt about you. <laughs> Oh, 
nice. I gonna lean back tomorrow while you can create the best. All right, well, recipe. Here. Good job. In the world. Boom. So that's it. You'll see us on the other side. <laughs> so over and out. Lights out, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Oh man, wait, I do have to do something. Okay. okay. And down the hatch it goes. I'm gonna see the inside after you bite it. I'm gonna see. Oh, perfect. Oh, actually, that is a good consistency. I might try that. Give me that. At least we get sick together. I'm not sure that should be all right. <laughs> not too bad, eh? Mm, no. Look at that. That's actually smoked pretty good. Pretty I mean, good. If you were smoking it to preserve it, you do want to get most of that moisture out. But I mean, we've just smoked it for a couple of hours to eat now, and it's really good. This girl knows how to cook, I'll tell you that much, hey? Well, I was experimenting. I've never used red wine before in a cream sauce that would normally do for garlic. I'd normally use like a Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. 
or a white worm and this red worm just worked a treat. How is that? Stupid. That's stupid, stupid good. Really so, good. So good. Marcus's grandfather is the one who introduced us, Walter, to, to hunting, so we'll be forever grateful for it. And yeah. you know, that is the, the Austrian style hunting hat or Jagen, what do they call it? A Jagen. Uh, Jagerhut. 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 That, um, that they wear normally. Yep. So, you know, Marcus is wearing it and uh, doing his grandfather super proud. So, mm. I'm, I'm grateful to see him we wearing it. Same. Same here. Cheers to Grandpa today. Cheers to Walter. Cheers to Walter. Walter Potodnik. Unfortunately, he's no longer alive now, but um, he was he was an amazing guy. Amazing guy. And um, a little bit for the Austrians, the way you say it in Austria is, du schaug dass der wenigstens ein Gams vor deine Haust in den Hut. Das ist der was... I can't just say it. Schaug, dass der wenigstens ein Gams vor deine Haust in den Hut. Dass der wenigstens etwas gleich schaugst. Yeah. All right, guys, you can look it up what that means in English. I'll see you guys later. Let's wrap it up. What do you think? I reckon. Boom. Ate it. I hope it goes down the f***ing windpipe. Mm. <laughs> Me too. Mm. <laughs> hey, wait, Snakeo. Get him a bit. Nah, okay. hold on now. Uh, now let me sauce, ready? We need the for the, for the smoke. I will. Useless. What do we call him? Useless, sir. <laughs>